Hey everybody, welcome back to Observer. Um, I thought this would be a good thing to show, as this happens when we load or continue our game. Uh, having made his way out of Amir Novak's bruised psyche, Dan must now find the victim's wife, Helena. She's the one who called the body in Adam's apartment. With the lockdown still in place, it's likely she's somewhere in the building. There were glimpses of a tattoo parlor in the Dream Eater. Seems like a good place to start. So, we've got two apartment numbers to check. Um, apartment 112 and apartment 209. These are Amir's clients. He was delivering, I believe, drugs. I'm pretty confident it's just drugs, but... Um, we're gonna go to 112. Leaving the crime scene. Pursuing the lead. The victim's wife could still be in the building. Maybe the neighbors know something. Okay, so we've talked to all of these neighbors already. Um, from here, we kind of want to loop all the way around to the right. I don't think we need to talk to these guys again. No. Still just as lovely as ever in there. So if I go straight through here, we'll hit 112 over on this side. We also need to check out that tattoo shop. We saw that quite a bit. Holy shit. Oh, that's right. We have to come through this side. It's way too quiet. Okay, this is still locked. I would assume. I think we've talked to literally everybody on this floor. Okay, we're getting there. Whoa. What the fuck? See, now, there's been talk, I've mentioned this and some other people have mentioned that, like, our hands kind of looked claw-like in some of the shadows. Which would be reminiscent of the wounds that we saw on these guys. But, I don't know, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not 100% convinced that that's the case just yet. Or if it's just distortion. All right, here's 112. KPD, I need to talk to you. Look who's here. The leech that's been skulking around the building. Yeah, I guess. Let's own up to it. News travels faster than shit. <laughs> if you know where to look. Is this where you tell me you got eyes on my ass? You ain't that pretty. Besides, ever since the lockdown, I've been kind of busy. Oh, yeah? You see anything weird? Seen anything suspicious lately? Other than the lockdown, I mean. I saw that booth babe run out of 104. Oh, she was heading for the courtyard, but then I lost her. Someone chasing after her? Eh, maybe. 
The surveillance cameras have blind spots. If you know where they are, you can hide in plain sight. Is that right? Okay, smartass. Tell me. Why am I still standing here? Okay, Slimeball, you found Amir's little stash and the <laughs> fucktard used our names on the merch. Close enough. Apartment numbers. <laughs> oh, busted. Let's call for backup. Oh, wait. You tried that already. Screening my calls, are you? Why don't you take a break and go hack yourself? Officer, please. What you're talking about is highly illegal. Not to mention unethical. Let's just say... I'm a concerned citizen with a very particular skill set. I'll turn a blind eye to the monkey on your back if you put your skills to work restoring my comms. Do it. What if I could? As long as we're under lockdown, this is a complete dead zone. But I've been scanning the internal network for signs of the double A glitch. What's the double A Come glitch? Again? The double A glitch, you know, the algorithm that makes the nanites go berserk on their own host, as in why nanophage happens? Whoa. And? Nothing so far. Well, hell a fucking Louia. That's a pretty big deal. Look at you, an optimist. All bets are off until I finish my scan. Um... Alright, let's encourage him. You know what? The way things are. You're wasting my time, so I'm letting you off the hook. Really? I mean, great. You know, for a leech, you're not a half bad Let's buy some guy. good graces here. Okay. So that one's complete. Now we need 209. That'll be our first time up to that floor as well. Uh, I am going to check the other apartments. Dan Lazarski, KPD. Is anyone in there? Uh, no. There's no one here. Uh, did I not hear a pretty little girl? Okay, whoa, Dan. <laughs> you okay? Your parents not home? No, just me. Oh, God. What's your name? Paulina. And you're Dan. What? That's right. How old are you? Is it like a name tag or something? 34. Whoa. Nine, you silly. Whoa, what? The fuck is that? So you're all alone in there? Yes. Well, not really. I'm playing with Fieta. Your little sister? No. She's my friend, silly. From school. <laughs> no. She's a special friend. Oh, no. Only I can see her. Nope. Ah, oh, that kind of friend. I had an invisible friend too when I was your age. Called him Tom. <laughs> Pieta thinks you're full of shit. Whoa. Are you upset? Maybe I am right. uncomfortable. I'm, I'm scared. The lights went out. It's just a power outage. Um, I, the building's not feeling well. No! Something is happening. I I feel weird. Paulina. Stop it! I can't! It won't let me out. What's going on in there? 1074. What? 1074. 1074, 1074. 107. What? She's got like multiple personalities. Strange little girl. Case 260. Eight. There's something strange about the girl in 113. 1074 might be a code to another apartment, but which one? My forensic vision might come in handy. Okay. We'll have to keep an eye on the, um... Oh, could be even right here. Tyrant. Whoa! We don't need that, thanks, actually. This has got to be it, right? One oh seven four. Let's give it a shot. What? Why are we doing this? <sighs> a 
Of course, she's in 113. It's like a girl and her father or... Wait, is that... Could that possibly be... No, I don't think that's Yanis. Another card. Thomas Macherzik. Who the hell is in here? Fuck. <laughs> I'm concerned. Oh boy. Holy, okay. Uh Synchrosine refilled. Oh, shit! Hello! What? Human body. I didn't get to see it. Life signature is unstable. A plus blood type. the heck? Are we gonna scan her? Looks like we're probably gonna scan her. Let's check the computer first, I guess. Is this her blood? Oh, controlled substance. Psychoactive feed. See how we can see her chip there? Pieta Sagan. So this is the void. That's the, the friend, right? Pieta? Life signature is unstable. So maybe they're inter somehow they're interacting. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in just yet. I wanna check the computer. The do the Dove Lovers Club, where bird lovers congregate. Pets to some, pets to others. We've seen tons of birds in here. Uh, home, community, auction house. Pests to some, pets to other. Our auction house allows our members to sell and purchase their beloved companions to the highest bidder. So these are different... Birds, or... Okay, female, very well trained. Had her since she was just a small chick. Sterilized, so breeding is out of the question. Good condition overall, but she's missing some plumage on her head. Scar tissue is barely visible. Current bid, 12,000 credits. Male, 12 years old, mental conditioning, very obedient, can be used as a carrier bird. I routinely send him out and he always makes his way home. Some scarring around the bill and abdomen, nothing too obvious, still a nice looking specimen. Female, 9 years old, chipped, well trained, very obedient and still in good condition. Still has a previous owner's initials tattooed on her head, but it barely shows from just under the plumage. She's getting a bit too old for my taste, I prefer my hens young and soft feathered. I don't think these are birds. 13 female, she'll literally do anything you tell her to. Once as a test, I had her moderate a message dedicated to online sale and purchasing of doves. Further 
unrelated content will result in a permanent ban. Male, 10 years old, still in training, needs to be kept in his cage at all times, caught in the wild, so he's proving somewhat difficult. Looking for a stern and experienced breeder to take him in. I'm willing to sell at a discount or exchange for more docile specimen. This, this is not, this is not birds. To whom it may concern. This is to certify that Paulina Medeja has been diagnosed to have childhood disintegrative disorder, CDD, known as the Heller's syndrome. This is a type of late onset autism. In Paulina's case, it is quite severe, and as to my knowledge, no early behavioral interventions were undertaken. She has lost almost all speech and social skills. It is highly doubtful she will ever recover, even if she was to undergo any of the more invasive forms of treatment currently available. Which brings me to the second point of this opinion. I do not believe Paulina Medeja would, or Medeja, would survive a cognition-enhancing augmentation procedure. As the blood tests are conclusive, her organism would almost certainly reject extensive implantation. In conclusion, I believe Paulina Medeja will never become self-sufficient and will require constant care for the rest of her life. I do not see any prospects for her condition to improve. Thinking out loud here, is this, um... So there's this girl, Paulina, right, that we met at the other, uh, apartment. This is, I think, Pieta in the chair. And it sounds like Paulina's got this, um, condition. And I'm wondering if it's possible that this machine she's got has kind of taken control of Paulina, and this Pieta is living through her. Which is why we hear the different voices come out. Let's see. So this is from Dr. Alexander Sadowski. I'm it's all set. Just drop by whenever you're ready for another session. Buy a set of diapers on the way here and some IV cartridges. The recreational ones, you can get those without a prescription. I got the rest here. Oh no. Good. Tomorrow then. Later in the evening I'll have everything. Buy a set of diapers. Which, is she wearing diapers in the chair? Maybe that they just go in there and like they don't care about anything else. And live in this VR world. White box. So how about it, buddy? You think you can deliver? Last time we talked, you sold me on a lot of dreams, but I've been sold shit before. I got you the money and tech and a and the asset. Now it's time for you to keep your end up. For the last time, is this thing gonna work? If you ain't sure, just say so. We'll come to some arrangement. I respect a man who can pull an honest hustle, so no hard feelings. Now you think hard before you hit that reply button and give it to me straight. Will it work? Yeah. Well, that's fucking reassuring. Now try that again, but use more words. Yes, it will work. I've already tried it in a virtual test environment. For your needs, it's perfectly functional. Regarding the asset, there is risk involved. Or no risk involved. I'll monitor the software from here, and if there's even the slightest spike in activity, I'll pull it- I'll put it on standby. Which brings me to one final aspect of our collaboration. You mentioned the asset is in 113! That's the girl. I'm assuming you've put the machine in one of the adjoining apartments. I need to act the access code, which is this machine, I guess. In case of an emergency, this is a non-negotiable term of our arrangement. If you find that unacceptable, then the deal is off. I take the tech. You get your money back. And there's another one. You're dead, bitch. <laughs> you lying fucking cunt. I know you're there using my fucking equipment. Should have known better than to give you my fucking password. You really think you can get away with this? As soon as I get out, I'm coming for you, bitch. No one's gonna save your wrinkly ass. I'll dance on your fucking grave. <sighs> okay. This is new. Cephalus? 7.34? Unable to establish connection. Okay. So we're going in. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, so we're still in our physical form walking around in her... ...psyche, I guess. But we can't use any of our... ...gadgets while we're in here.
what? The Wolfman, Revenge, Werewolf of Doom. Okay, it's definitely a wolf. We can pretty much confirm that now. That's the oh, oh no. Besides, it's more exciting this way. You rich people and your kicks. So she like, she paid to experience this. That was her first time. I'm gonna guess she becomes addicted. Because later she's like, bring the diapers, bring the IV stuff. Augmentation is not an option. Okay, okay. So now we're kind of seeing why she was led there. She wanted to be augmented, maybe couldn't be. Sounds like it. Inoperable. Inoperable. It's best to accept it. Is it an actual... Like, is it the nanophage? There's nothing we can do now. Rain, rain, go away. Shit. Whoa. What is this? It feels like we're underwater? Jesus! Fuck. What the fuck were you thinking, Odo? Who the hell is she? She's no one, just some brain dead brat. She's got no relatives, no one to miss her. She's got what you yeah. need. What? You're fucking kidding. Assuming this is possible, it, it can't be legal. Gray area. The tech is brand new. You wanna wait for people to catch up, be my guest. God, this is insane. It's raining. Fine. It's raining. How does this work? We'll do the first session tomorrow, then another one, and another. A few weeks, your mind should be just enough for you to. Uh, Holy so shit. I want to see if there was one of those on this one. No. So they targeted this little girl so that, and then had these sessions where you could get your mind used to this kind of thing. So that eventually you could sound like just take over the body or whatever. Always 
It's like they used a hacked version of what we're using no. kind of thing, I think. The doctors always say I'm not well in there. I could never tell them to leave me alone. But you're talking now. How, how is this possible? I learned from you. Whoa. It's raining, it's pouring. So they kind of merge, it sounds like. Jesus. What is this machine doing? Is it stopping the wind? I think so. I'm just seeing if it switches back. Holy shit. We want to use these to basically block us while the wind pushes, I think. The bird listings, I think, are these children that people can buy to do this to. That's why they talk about the various degrees of... Basically, like, how docile they are. This thing's not doing anything. Not good. Oh, maybe that's switching something in front of it. At that gate? I can't tell. How do we get out? There's got to be something else. Oh. 
Oh, here we go. Hold on. Maybe. I think this might just be for blocking, but. It's raining, it's oh, what's this? Oh. This controls the gate. Jesus. Oh, look at this. You shouldn't be here. I won't let you hurt her. You can see me. Whoa, shit. What are you doing here? Wait, you shouldn't be able to do this. How did you know I was in here? Learn from her. Yeah, so they merge. I'm an observer. You know what that means. Yes. You're... You're in my head. Like I was in hers. I won't hurt you. I'll get you out. I... Don't know if I <laughs> want you to. Yeah, exactly. Why is that now? This dream is a temple where we are as one. If the dream dies, the little angel flies. So if we remove her, Let she'll me die? Stay with her. Doesn't seem like I have a choice. Alright. Let's end this. Let's reboot the machine. No! That would initiate a memory wipe? I know. I fear it would kill me. What about Purina? She would be alone. All alone. Oh, shit. Please. Could you restore the connection? Let me take care of her. There has to be some way to help you. To pull you back into your own body. My body is dead. This is the only way. Please, you have to... Pieta. Pieta. Did she reject us somehow, or are we getting pulled out again by the system? Caution. Low synchronization. Administer yep. synchrozine. Yes. Synchrozine <sighs> injected. Strain level decreased. Holy shit. Signature's unstable. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is the actual device. This thing is fucking fried. The lockdown probably didn't do it any favors. Better not touch it. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, here we go. Shit. We have to make a choice. Do we reboot the system, which I think would... It would disconnect them? She could die. Both could die. Or restore it and let the thing happen, knowing that the girl was unwillingly, but she was a vegetable, and it's like, is this better than that? I don't know what the answer is! <laughs> this is very stressful now. Um... Because this is highly illegal. But, it's like, are they both better off? Because they're teaching each other things, and it sounds like they're, you know, they're both in a better place for it. But if we stop them, what happens to either one? This is terrible, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna restore it. Body Snatcher just popped up. Neural connection restored, failed to retrieve client data. Jesus. I don't know how I feel about that. 
I don't know how he, I don't feel great about it. I don't feel great about that. Oh, we can go in here now. I hope you two find what you're looking for. Wait. Mr. Scooter, sentient level brainwave activity detected? Sentient level brainwave activity detected? Oh, what in the hell did we just do? What? Did they... What? 